Hi, 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 welcome to Codevo. This is day 16 of 100 days of code and the question for today is replace zeros with 5. Okay, so uh, let me just read the question first. It's quite simple. You are given an integer n and you need to convert all zeros in n to 5. Okay, so we, we'll see this example and you'll get what the question is, right? Okay, so the input is that you are given number n, right? So the value of n is 1004, zero, zero, so 1004 and you are supposed to convert it into 1554 so you have converted these two zeros into fives okay and the n value it is an integer format and you are not supposed to convert it into a string that is the important part right so uh, you can easily convert uh, integer into strings and uh, uh, you can change the values of zeros to five in uh, character form and then convert it back to integer but you are not going to do that here there is another way which we are going to follow to solve this question and that is what they are expecting okay so what i am going to do is that i am going to check the place value of these zeros okay so there is something called place values you would have learned this in uh, middle school or uh, even primary school so generally what do you say is that this is the ones place and uh, this is the tens place this is the hundreds place and this is the thousands place and so on right so you would have heard this you would have learned this way earlier in your schooling that is the concept that you are going to use so whenever uh, like you are going to uh, split this number into digits and we are going to use modulo operator for that and when we try to split this number into digits and find a zero you are going to take the place value of it multiply it with 5 and add it to n that is the logic that we are going to use so I've, I've told it in single sentence and it's quite easy as well now we'll try to solve this example by that approach and uh, then we'll try to code this okay so we have this n value which is 1004 right so we have 1004 now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to split this number into digits okay so we are going to use modulo operator and we are going to divide or uh, 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 take mod of this number by 10 okay so when you do this you will get the ones digit first and when you do it again you will get the tens digit next and so on okay so and and for ev like uh, for after every uh, operation you are going to divide it by 10 as well uh, like when if you would have uh, done something involving uh, splitting the numbers into digits it is quite uh, familiar to that okay so for first we are going to uh, take the modulo of n by 10 okay so n modulo 10 so n mod 10 gives you 4 right so uh, the value of n is 1004 when you take that uh, 1004 and uh, mod it within you, you are given with uh, like you are in, ending up with 4 okay now what you're going to do is that you're going to divide n by 10 sorry i'll write that again n equals n divided by 10 so when you divide 1004 by 10 you will end up with 100 because it is an integer form so there is no decimal point or there is no uh, floating point there right so the value of n becomes 100 now okay now now for 100 when you take modulo 10 you will end up with 0 ok and we are going to replace this 0 with 5 so we know that this is uh, the 10th place right so when you when you see from right side uh, this is the 0 we are currently at and it is the 10th place ok so the power value is 10. So let me just write another column here called power value. So this was one position. So the power value is one. This is the 10th position. So the power value is 10. So when you multiply this with five, you will end up with 50. So you are going to add 50 to n. Okay. You are going to add n is equal to n plus 50. I mean, uh, we have another copy of n. So uh, it is not divided by 10. Okay. So it's another copy. Don't worry about that. We'll see to that in our uh, implementation okay so you are adding n with 50 so this gives you 1054 okay we have replaced 10 with 5 and now we are going to repeat the same process 
now uh, we have done this so we are going to divide n by 10 again okay so you will end up with 10 n n n value would become 10 right so n equals 10 and you are going to take modulo 10 again okay so 10 modulo 10 gives you 0 again and the power here is 100 right so the power value is 100 and since we encountered a 0 we are going to multiply that with 5 and you will end up with 500 so we are going to add 500 to 1054 so 1054 plus 500 gives you 1554 and that is our desired answer right the, like you cannot do this again because uh, you reach the end of the number or if you divide it by 10 again it would end up with 0 okay so this is the end of it and uh, 1554 is the answer 1554 so the question was 1004 and you have converted it into 1554 where the zeros have been replaced with 5 so uh, you are splitting it into digits using modulo operator and whenever you encounter a 0 you find its place value uh, multiply it by 5 and add it to the original number okay so uh, you are going to do this for every digit in the uh, number and that is the procedure to solve this question now we'll move to geeks for geeks and try to solve this so we're supposed to solve this particular uh, method and we are given n as the integer like uh, n as the input right so now i'm just going to take a copy of n copy int copy equals n so i have just taken a copy of n so that if we process our current value of n it will not affect the original value because we are going to uh, divide it by 10 right uh, in order to split it into digits we are going to divide it by 10 uh, but if, if we are going to add 5s to the original number so i'm just taking a copy of n and uh, we are going to use a loop to uh, split the number into digits and the condition is that n greater than or equal to 0 ok so i am just going to sacrifice n to split it into digits and we are going to return copy so copy will be the optimal output that we need so while n greater than or equal to 0 um, let me just take a number called digit and digit equals n modulo 10 ok so this is the last digit of the current value of n because modulo will give you that ok digit equals n modulo n if the value of digit is 0 if digit equal to equal to 0 you are going to multiply the uh, place value by 5 right so I am just going to have another variable called multiplier multiplier and I am going to initialize it to 1 right and for every iteration I am going to multiply it with 10 so that uh, what I am trying to tell is that we are at the last digit for the first iteration of the while loop so there the place value will be 1 when you divide the number by 10 you are ignoring the last digit and moving to the next digit right and that is the tens value it is the place value is 10 so we are multiplying our multiplier variable by 10 so that it is the place value right and and for the next iteration you will multiply it again by 10 so it will become the hundredths place value okay so uh, that is the logic that we are going for so if digit equals equals 0 um, we are going to add sorry copy plus equals multiplier times 5 ok we are multiplying the multiplier by 5 ok I am not playing with words multiplier is the variable name we are multiplying that with 5 the value 5 constant value and we are adding that to copy ok so after doing this we are going to update the value of multiplier because we have processed our current value and for the next value it should be uh, 10 times more right multiplier star 10 ok because we, we are moving to the left and uh, it is like in our decimal system it uh, is multiplied by 10 right so multiplier equals multiply multiplier times 10 and uh, we are slashing the value of n so n equals n by 10 ok so uh, we are ignoring the last digit we have processed the last digit so we are ignoring that by dividing it by 10 ok this is the process that you are going to do and at, at the end of this you are just going to return the copy variable ok because that is the value that we have taken copy of 
I mean, we have taken the copy of the value n in the copy variable, and we have sacrificed n to do this performance. So we are going to return the copy variable, and uh, that is what we have done. Now we'll try to execute this and see if it works. Sorry, the power just went out. Uh, a small correction that I wanted to tell is that the condition should be n greater than zero and not n equal zero because, yeah, if it is zero, you don't have to do anything, right? So. Uh, it should be n greater than zero. Okay, so that is the condition. I will try to run this and see if it works. So all test cases have passed and uh, the code is working fine. So hope you understood this logic. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And if you have solved it, post it on LinkedIn and tag me. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you on tomorrow's episode of Hundred Days of Code. Bye for now.